There are a few reasons for cropping your dense point cloud. First, the project will look nicer and more presentable without peripheral areas. Second, it's gonna be easier to navigate and work in the 3D view. And finally, it is more efficient to use the data only in our area of interest. Other layers generated from cropped dense point cloud will be of much higher quality without having to spend resources on the periphery. Before we crop our dense point cloud, we need to set our clipping box. Click on Set Clipping Box tool and the clipping box will appear in the 3D view. The box can be resized by dragging these colored circles. It can be moved by dragging its walls, by enabling rotation in the tools window, rotate your clipping box by one of the edges. You can reset your clipping box by clicking on Reset Clipping Box. Also, there is an option to store the clipping box and restore it later. Let's restore the clipping box to the one automatically set for us by the software and start from there. When you are happy with your clipping box, press OK. And it looks like we are done, but that is not the case yet. All the points outside the clipping box are hidden, but still there. To remove them, right-click on the dense point cloud in the layers panel and select crop to clipping box. And after a few moments, here we have our cropped dense point cloud. This was a short video on dense point cloud cropping. Useful links in the video description.